Okay guys, have you ever wondered why Shillong is called the mini Japan? So yeah, if you think about the anime influence or any other Japanese influence, yeah, Shillong has that. And another relatable thing is cherry blossoms, yeah. Japan has the most beautiful cherry blossoms in uh, all over the world and second is in India, Shillong. So yeah, in today's vlog, I'm gonna show you that how the Japanese culture is being shown in Shillong to have some influence of Japanese culture to the Shillong people. So in today's vlog, this is the Japan caravan vlog. So yeah, today is the last day as I couldn't came earlier because I had some work. So I'll show you now what this, what are this uh, Japan caravan. So let's go. So yeah, right behind me as you can see in other videos also that people can try um, you know traditional uh, Japanese dress which is called kimino or, and, and have a click of picture of their own. So yeah, this is how the influence of Japanese culture is being implemented in Shillong people. So yeah, this is like a promotion of how Japanese culture and this is a great opportunity to see what Japanese cultures are there. So yeah, it's a great thing and other, other things here shown our calligraphy and some uh, they are teaching Japanese language to people so they can have a better understanding of how Japanese language is easy to learn so yeah let's explore more uh, in further in this vlog so yeah So these are the events uh, that are gonna be held here. From one to two, they are trying Yukuta, calligraphy, and origami, as I'll show you in this upcoming videos of the vlog. And from two fifteen to three, the Japanese language promotion by Japan Embassy is being shown in here. So from uh, three ten to five, the anime film screening will be done here. So I'll show you there. And there will be also anime drawing contest being held here, here in this today's event. So yeah, I'll show you that events in the upcoming vlog. So let's go and explore. So if any of you are confused, what is Yukuta? So Yukuta is the trying of Japanese traditional dress. Kimino dress. So yeah, it is shown here in this picture. And second thing is calligraphy, the Japanese traditional writing. So they will show you how to write and you can practice them here. And third thing is origami. They will show you how to do the 
uh, paper folding and making crafts with them so yeah you can try out here in this event also When I had a chance, I also tried the Japanese traditional dress which was obviously free of cost and it was a great and wonderful experience. So now I think it's gonna be the anime screening uh, being shown here so I'll show you that now. These are the some of the winners that won the drawing competition that held in today's event. So everyone, this is where the vlog ends. So yeah, in the last part of the event, they showed us the anime of Japan and the animation and the animation graphics was superb and on the next level. So yeah, I really recommend you guys to watch that anime. The name of the anime is Children of the Sea and yeah and all of this even the, all of the things that i've witnessed here is so much awesome and the, and i really like the when i met these people face to face doing and showing the japanese culture and i want to thank everyone who made this uh, even possible i don't know the names who made this even possible but yeah thank you everyone in shillong who made this uh, even possible so that the people from japan can came to shillong and show their culture so i hope in this vlog i was able to capture as much as possible so you guys can experience and even if you are not vis have you not visited this event uh, so you can also know that what happened here today so yeah um i hope i was able to capture everything and you guys would was about to know what happened at this event so yeah so we'll meet you at the next vlog thank you so much for watching this video till the last i uh, i hope my this vlog i did it good so yeah we'll meet you at the next vlog thank you so much good night